Hello everyone, Joel Wolfson here with another brief bottom line review. I'm going to show you On One Photo Raw 2019. For those not familiar with On One Photo Raw, it's been out in its current form a couple years and it incorporates many more years of On One's imaging tools and experience. It's a raw processor and also has image management and I think it's a great alternative for something like Lightroom. But I'll let you be the judge of that. This is a major update and for me a welcome one for many reasons. I'll give you my bottom line along with the pros and cons and I'll give you a quick demonstration of my favorite improvements and features. There are an awful lot of uh, new features and improvements and um, so I'm just going to focus on my favorites. There's a link below this video that will take you to my blog post about this and where you'll have a link to download a trial on one is discounting both upgrades and new purchases and if you happen to be a new buyer you can get an extra discount using my code if you've been on the fence about buying on one raw I think it has really matured to being a good all-in-one solution for imaging I think it's safe to pull the trigger and it's not a huge investment especially when you consider what it does compared to the cost of Lightroom and Adobe's addiction model of those monthly payments for life for those of you that are currently using Lightroom and see the handwriting on the wall, On1 has made a significant improvement to their Lightroom migration tool. It allows you to transfer all your images with all your non-destructive adjustments intact. Like the previous version of On1 Photo Raw, you can import and catalog your images and folders if you want, but it's not required like it is in Lightroom. Uh, if you don't catalog, you still have an easy-to-use built-in browser to find your images. So if you look over here on the left, you can browse images. Um, there's uh, albums here. You can arrange them in albums. Those are sort of like collections in um, Lightroom. Uh, here's all the cataloged folders. If you didn't catalog anything, you can always browse using your local drives. It shows all your drives here, even cloud storage, um, etc., etc. Uh, there's filters down here, uh, which are, is good for searching and rating images and um, searching based on metadata and all those things. So really, it's a comprehensive image management system without the types of restraints for importing and cataloging like in Lightroom. But let's get to the new stuff for um, 2019 version and I'll show you some of my favorite improvements. So the first thing you might notice just looking at this thing is um, just the look and feel part of it. It's a little more understated allowing you to concentrate on images. It's subtle but I like it. Uh, really more important in terms of interface is what On1 calls a combined workflow. So if you look up here over on the right, you notice there's just browse and edit. On1 has fixed the awkwardness and overlap of multiple modules from 2018. I'll click on edit here. And you'll notice this is an elegant and simplified workflow now using tabs instead of having to go from one module to another. So here's the tabs, develop, effects, portrait, and local. Um, Develop is as it was before. That's for your, you know, raw adjustments. Effects also are non-destructive. Actually, all of these are non-destructive. The effects tab is where you add filters, each in their own layer with opacity and extensive masking control. Uh, another nice touch is look what happens when I click on the add filter. It comes up with this nice little dialog. Now there was. A list of filters previously but this one now gives you a little picture preview it gives you a nice description and there's even a little search box up here so let's say I put in contrast it'll give me all of the filter adjustments that have to do with contrast so I'll click on dynamic contrast here and that gives me um, some dynamic contrast and I use that often for a sense of depth so I'll show you another nice little touch that I like and that is now when you rename these I'll just say um, add depth here 
Um, it no longer adds or appends the name of the filter on it so you can see very clearly um, what it is you've done in each layer. And this is really nice when you go back to do other things. Um, another huge difference in this one is a speed increase. Uh, with 2018, especially the most recent 0.5 update, I found it um, to be too slow to use on my laptop and it was even a little slow on my desktop but now I can just pop between these modules and when I add an effect or a filter it it's virtually in real time I mean there are delays here and there for a couple seconds but it really has speeded up a lot and then I'll show you one more thing um, another one of my favorites and that is this portrait tab uh, well this isn't a portrait so let me go grab one and those of us that remember the wonderful on one portrait plugin have been patiently waiting for the full implementation of the previous portrait plugin for um, on one photo raw they, they added some of it parts of it like skin retouching and whatnot but now we have the whole thing and it's really awesome and it's non-destructive and it's right here in the tabs in this nice new workflow so uh, you can see it attempts to find faces and it does a pretty good job so when I click on this uh, it brings down my portrait tab with all my adjustments um, this is the mask here if I hit the O key that'll show me the mask and so it knows where the faces are it does a pretty good job of finding them if you have multiple faces but here's um, the power of this thing is uh, you can adjust the skin, the eyes, and the mouth. And here I'll just do the eyes as an example. You click on eyes, it tells you right up here, click on the center of each eye. So um, really it's best if you click on the pupil, which I think they mean by center. And then it gives you these little eye shapes and you can just adjust these. And they don't have to be exact, but you get them you know, proximate to the shape of the eye. And then I'll show you um, what you can do with it. So I'll adjust this one. Um, she's looking sideways, so we don't have um, a typical eye shape here, but it's not a big deal because these are all adjustable. So um, we've more or less got the eyes. And here I'll close the, um, the mask. So let's go down to eyes, and you can see there's a whitening slider. So as I move that up, you can watch. Um, it whitens the eyes so you get rid of those veins and it just makes the eyes more prominent. Uh, if you have catch lights, I didn't have the greatest lighting here, I was just using available light. So if I up the detail too much, it's probably just going to um, get, get reflections I don't want. But um, a little detail isn't bad on this one. So let me, let me unclick this so you can see there's the before and there's the after. Um, and if you want to go in and adjust it, like I can click on the eye thing and I can, you know, I, I can see it's not whitening enough. I can just move this up and you can watch the whitening go right to the edge of the eye. So pretty cool. There's one for the mouth here. Um, and I can choose include teeth or not. This is a closed mouth smile. So I just uncheck that. And now it'll, I just click on the corners of the mouth and it will... Um, just do lips. If I had teeth in here, I could also whiten the teeth the same way I whiten the eyes. And then I can go over here, and if I want to make her uh, lips more saturated, I just move up the vibrance. Now, in my opinion, I don't really need anything here. Her lips look fine, but I just wanted to show you how that works. So this portrait tab is awesome, and now it's all part of the On One Photo Raw 2019. There's one more thing on one integrated into this new combined workflow, and that's image layers. So now you no longer have to go to a separate layers module for compositing or adding images. You just go up here to layers, and you can either add a new image layer or duplicate a layer. Here, I'll duplicate one so you can see. So I just duplicated this layer. And each of these can be edited non-destructively using all the tabs, just like your base image. So you see I have this one selected, and um, it, since it duplicated it, I have that portrait layer in here. But you can go in and add as many layers as you want, and it all works non-destructively just 
um, just like the original layer and you can put as many of these layers as you want in there. So I think that covers the new stuff that I find most useful. Of course everyone's workflow is different so check out my blog post for the numerous other new features that might pertain to you. There isn't much in the way of downsides. The only thing that bothers me from a workflow standpoint is the inability to group raw plus JPEG on the import dialog. It's possible there's a way, but I haven't found it. Um, there is a workaround. It's just a little time consuming. I don't consider it a deal breaker. So there you have it, a new much friendlier and intuitive integrated workflow with tabs, no more separate modules, there's a significant speed increase, the long-awaited portrait capabilities, a better way to find and select filters, better naming, implementation, and capability of multiple image layers, each with non-destructive editing. If this looks intriguing, give it a try with their free trial download. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link below the video to my blog post. If you're already in my blog post, the links you need are there. So I hope you found this useful, and we will see you next time.